Advent Devotions, Monday, November the 29th, 2021. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, If you will only obey the Lord your God, blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Deuteronomy 26, verses 1 and 6. The accompanying doctrinal text is taken from Matthew chapter 12 and verse 50. It reads as follows. Jesus said, For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. In this Advent season, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword. If you will only obey the Lord your God, blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The writer of Deuteronomy reminds us that there are blessings in store for those who do God's will by following his word. These blessings are both present, as we come in, and future, as we go out. The Bible further tells us that the salvation which Jesus gained for us is both for the now and for eternity. In the now, we have relief from anxiety and fear as Peter reminds us that we should cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. And this is recorded in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. We also have the assurance that he, that as we walk with him, that even the challenges of this life are working out for our good. And Paul reminds us of this in Romans 8 and verse 28. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. And so as we receive God's word, receive God's blessings, we know that these things are working out for us in the here and now. We know that God is watching over us, providing for all our needs. But in the future, there is also great hope. We have certain expectations that one day He will take us to be with Him in glory. As he shared this also with his, with his disciples, this is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, before he left this earth. And he said to them in John 14, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And this is in John 14 and verse 3. Wow, what a promise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has made to us. He's keeping us in the now, and He's preparing for us for the future. He's coming back to take us to a place where there's no more sickness, no more death, no more sorrow. Imagine, no more COVID, no more cancer, no more bills to pay, no more terrorist bombings that you hear on the news, no more hurricanes, no more earthquake, no more volcanic eruptions. We would be in glory with Him as we trust Him. So I pray that we would receive the blessings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by accepting what He has done for us. Indeed, that is what He came to do, to be our salvation and to show us the way of salvation. So in this Advent season, as we celebrate His first coming and look in anticipation to His second, I pray that all will come to know the blessed hope He gives by accepting His gift of salvation by trusting in the finished work of Calvary and being guided by his word. Let us pray. Lord God, in this Advent season, we give you thanks for the blessed hope that is ours because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who came and is coming again to receive us who are his unto himself. May we receive his blessings and be ready to be received by him as he comes again.